one of the most common things I get asked when people are on a low carb diet is they say, John, I am ha I'm struggling. I'm going on and off the low carb diet and I'm struggling with cravings. I just can't, I gotta have the sugar. I gotta have the carbs or whatever it is. And here is my answer to that. There's three mistakes going on here, okay? So the first mistake that people are doing is that they're approaching low carb like this right here, okay? They're approaching it where there's a mental part and there's a physical part. And to be honest with you, they're really likely just doing this. They're just focusing on the physical part, okay? And in the beginning, by the way, it's not even 80-20. It's really more like 90-10. But the problem is that they're only focusing on the physical. So that, I mentioned that in the first video where we talked about how you have to have your mindset right. You have to be a certain person on the inside to do those things, okay? This is, let me show you the way low carb really should work. You should really approach it like this, okay? Same components, but a little bit different. What we're saying here is that it's tied together you can't do this okay you can't you can't do that you only can do this and i put mental on top because the mental is the most important part so many people are out there and they're on the uh a low carb lifestyle and when you're just focusing on physical and you're not learning about the mental parts how do i focus my mind how do i focus my mind to stop those cravings matthew had a great video where we talked about the physical part, the physical part where we eat more food to help lower cravings. But there is a whole other part there as well, which I've got a lot more to talk to you about that. Mistake number two, they'll go get a low carb book and they'll read the low carb book and the problem is, is that they haven't done that mental part. So, but they know that, hey, I need to eat, you know, a certain way. So they're going to get a low carb book. They're going to learn about it. And then what they're going to do is they're going to read the book and the book's going to say, don't eat bread any longer and or eat these certain kinds of foods. Don't eat French fries. And in your head, you're going like this. As you're reading it, you're going like this. I really want to go to that fast food restaurant, buy French fries and I want to buy that hamburger. Don't drink any more sodas with, with, with sugar in it or anything like that. No high fructose corn syrup. Oh gosh, I really love those sodas. I gotta have a soda I'm craving. I'm a soda drinker. And then there'll be something like sweets. Take sugar out of your diet. Don't eat sweets. If you need to eat something, eat dark chocolate. I really don't like dark chocolate. I really love Snickers bars. I really need... Do you see the confusion there? You are out of alignment. That is the problem. Okay, mental and physical is out of alignment. What you want is to be in alignment. You want the physical, the physical, the physical and the mental to be in alignment. Okay, so mistake number three. Mistake number three is people work from this model right here. Have, do, be. Okay, so that's saying that I will, I first need to have all these things. I first need to have all these things in my, my pantry. I need to buy the books. I need to buy the, the videos. I need to watch the videos and everything. And then once I do all those things, then I, or once I have all those things, once I have health, then I can start doing these kinds of things. And once I start doing these things, then only then will I be those kinds of things. Okay. So you can kind of think about it like with money. A lot of times people say, well, once I have a lot of money, then I'll start going on vacations and then I'll start being that person that I want to be where I can relax and not stress out and everything. Same thing with your health, okay? Same thing with your health. Here is the model you really should work from. Be, do, have, all right? You need to first be the person, then you can start doing those things and then you'll start having those things. It's the whole law of attraction, okay? Be that person on the inside. When you are that person, you are going to be putting that in the world and you're going to start doing those things because you believe you're that person. And once you start doing those things, you'll start taking the actions to have those things. All right, I'll see you there.